No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, how's it going? I'm Micah with No Film School. We're hanging out with Alex at the Canon booth at NAB 2017. He's going to show us the new servo zoom that they just uh, announced a couple weeks ago, and it's sitting on a beautiful C700 at the moment. What's going on, Alex? Uh, thanks for having us. Um, this is the C700. Obviously, you guys have re uh, reported on it before, but we're showing the 70 to 200 compact servo lens. Uh, it's a part of the family. We already have the 18 to 80 that we've shipped. Uh, but what's really exciting is it's exactly the same size, same front diameter, same T-stop, um, same controls, par focal. That's really the big thing about this lens is that it'll hold its focus when you zoom in, unlike a DSLR lens. And here's really the cross section of the lens that shows you kind of the science behind what we've done. We really combined three types of lenses, a broadcast lens, a DSLR lens, and a cinema lens. And you can kind of see that in this little bit right here, because auto iris, which is something that most cinema and even DSLR people aren't using, but our broadcast customers love the auto iris capabilities. Auto focus or manual focus, three types of stabilization, so we've got ABC, which is really just low, medium, high, so depending on what you're doing. Um, and then the built-in servo that actually doesn't come off the lens, just like the 1880, but it has the additional grip that you can get with it, or it works with our new C700 um, style grip, which actually controls the camera, and you can move the autofocus box around and have one shot right here. So really, really versatile tool to go with the ecosystem we've already created. Awesome. So this was just announced a couple weeks ago. Um, when are you uh, getting them off the shelves and, and how much does it cost? Uh, they haven't really given us a price. It's probably going to be comparable to the 18 to 80, which is about 5,500 or so. Um, and they've told us end of the year, so fourth quarter is when we think we're going to deliver it. Excellent. That's not bad at all. Um, and is there anything new with the C700 this year? Have you? I mean, uh, I don't know if we've gotten a chance to look at it really mm -hmm. super in depth since since it was announced. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. We, this is our first kind of A camera style. I mean, you can do A camera work with our C300 Mark IIs, but a lot of people wanted a more modular design. Uh, right off the bat, we made the top flat, which is a big big thing when you're rigging stuff up so right up you can you can see all the quarter 20 screws and 3 8 16 screws that are on the top our new top handles very beefy and robust you can move it around the real big news though is also our EVF which is really exciting for me it's a 1920 1080 OLED but what's really exciting is the proprietary cable this is the same cable that you get on the C300 Mark II so if you have a C300 Mark II, this EVF will work with that. But why it's cool to use our cable is you don't take up an SDI or HDMI port, and you get full camera control and power. So you're not worried about you know putting a battery on the on the EVF or anything like that. The best way to navigate the camera now is this on-screen menu. So you can see all the important stuff, very similar to a lot of competitor cameras. Um, very simple to get to the important things. Let's say you want to switch the ISO, one button, and you can go basically to whatever you want. So it's a really nice way to navigate the camera. Let's say you want to switch from C-Log 2 to C-Log 3, one button, two buttons, and you're there. So it's, it's, it's a lot different if you're familiar with our C300 cameras to get to the important stuff while you're on set. And we don't have a video output on it, so it's very fast and responsive. It's not trying to do a lot of things at once. It's meant to just be a very fast camera control. But like you were saying, it's just a nice on-set experience. You can see all the SDI ports. You can see the time code. Everything is very nice and easy to use. That's really what you're paying for with this camera. It's very light. It's about seven and a half pounds. Uh, when you, just the body. When you get everything on, you're probably closer to like 12. So it's pretty light compared to a lot of other cameras. We finally have false color in this camera. But the really cool thing is you can send the false color out of the SCI or the HDMI, but we also have an index. So watch this. If I hit the user button, I actually get six different programmable buttons. So if I push this button, and I can program this to basically whatever I want. And it's very, very specific. Like, let's say I want to send peaking just to the EVF. I can literally just do that and have a separate button that sends the peaking out of another monitor. So it's very, very precise. But in terms of false color, we have this built-in index. And you can see it really incredibly false color out of all of the individual ports can be its own button. So if I hit that button and push it, you get this incredible little display on the side. So while you're looking at the false color, you actually have right on the camera what it means. So it's one of those things where you're not guessing or anything like that. It's very simple. Is it available yet? Yeah, we announced it in November of last year, so we missed okay. NAB last year, but it has been out. I think we started shipping right in the beginning of this year. Yeah. Um, we have, uh, I'm based in Los Angeles, we have a few rental houses that have already set it up and the rentals are starting to go. Um, it's Netflix approved, so if you're doing a Netflix series, it's a really great option for that. 
great. And so it's a, a same sensor technology as the uh, C300 Mark II, but just with way more robust features for, for professionals and, and cinematographers. It, it definitely has a new architecture around the sensor. So you've got 4.5K options as opposed to just 4K, but it's meant to be like an AB camera. If you think about you know other competitors who have a large camera and a small camera, we're exactly the same. We got this camera now, and then the C300 Mark II can be like your gimbal operated camera or your oh, run across the street and do a quick pickup. You know, all the color and the log and everything inside of it is going to match. And um, what, what is the response you've got so far to the camera from, from professional cinematographers? Uh, people are very happy with it. We did a demo film with Russell Carpenter, who's an ASC DP, shot like Titanic and True Lies and these like really big films. Uh, he rated the camera at closer to like 1600 or 3200. He was very happy with the low light performance. The pros have really said he kind of gave us what we were looking for. Really beautiful highlight roll up, that Canon color that everyone really loves. And now we have ProRes, which is basically accepted in a lot of NLEs. So people are very, very happy with the camera. Excellent. And you mentioned that this uh, this EVF is compatible, reverse compatible. Is it something you're selling separately? You can buy the EVF. You can buy just the body, and you can buy these parts individually. We also sell a cinema package where you can get everything together. Um, but yeah, with a firmware upgrade to your C300 Mark II, this EVF will work because these are the same ports that you have on your C300 Mark II that work for the LCD. Yeah, if you're someone who, especially a rental house, who's going to buy this, they can now leverage this into a rental with a C300 Mark II as well. Or if you're an owner and you've been waiting for a really high quality EBF from Canon, we finally have the option for you. All right, so that's the first look at the Canon C700 that we've had in person. It looks like a really robust version of their other successful cameras. Uh, it's going to be a really good tool for cinematographers in the, in the pro spectrum, looking for the more more features, more uh, intuitive layout, and the Canon 7200 millimeter zoom lens also packing a lot of functionality into a, a nice small package there. Uh, thanks, Alex. Thank you.